Hi, it's Lee from moneyisinthelist.com and today we're talking about safely storing your Bitcoin in a Bitcoin paper wallet. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments section below. Likewise, if you've got a suggestion for a video you would like me to talk about, please jump across to the website moneyisinthelist.com and make a suggestion on the website. So this, uh, this video is all about creating your Bitcoin paper wallet. For other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, there are different wallets and this tutorial will not be relevant. Um, let's say this is a Bitcoin and you're not going to want to um, store your Bitcoin on the exchange. Once you've purchased your Bitcoin from uh, the exchanges such as Coinbase, you're not going to want to leave it there just in case uh, their network goes down, they get hacked or they go out of business, uh, you're not in control of the Bitcoin yourself. Um, you'll have effectively lost it. So you want to store it away um, on your own wallet. And there's a number of options in terms of wallets. You have the digital uh, wallets on the phone, um, the phone apps. You also have a piece of software that you can store onto a single computer, can only be accessed by that one computer. You also have hardware wallets, which are like a little uh, USB stick, okay, and they interact with the computer slightly differently. You've also got a paper wallet where the information is created offline and then it's stored offline. Okay, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the tutorial of how you can create the Bitcoin paper wallet. So what you want to do is you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to the website um, bit address dot org. Bit address dot org. Okay, then go to it. And as soon as you start on the page, it's going to start generating a a wallet. You don't want to do that because you're online. And this is the problem with cryptocurrencies. Because it's online, things can be hacked. You've got spyware, malware, all these things that could be looking and seeing what's going on. So what you want to do is you want to cut off the internet and create your paper wallet offline. Now, how do you do that? You do that by going down to the bottom of the page where it says uh, this here, repository, where it has the zip. Click on the zip. This is going to download uh, a file, a zip file to your your computer. Okay. Remember, wherever it is stored, it's going to be different on your computer. The next thing you want to do is you want to turn off the Wi-Fi. For me, it's up here at the top, and I just turn off Wi-Fi. My computer is no longer connected to the internet. Okay. So there's no information being transmitted at this present moment to and from my computer. So the next thing I want to do is I want to open the zip file. So go to wherever you stored your zip file. Okay, go into the folder and you're going to have the, the page there. You're then going to drop that onto the browser, cross off the previous one. So now we have a brand new um, index, the page, the bitaddress.org, uh, bit and you can see that this is on my local computer where it's stored in my downloads folder, okay, before I start accessing it. So then once you do, once you start moving your mouse over the page, it starts to generate, it's generating codes, generating layers of encryption, okay, for your wallet. Okay, so you're gonna keep moving the mouse, you can go in this text box and put in some letters as well, but keep moving it on the screen and it's gradually gonna hit 100%. Once that's done, it will then load the wallet. Now we've actually loaded the wallet here. We've got uh, two two sections here. Okay, in the left hand side we've got the address. Now this is how you can send coins to the wallet. So with using this image here, you can scan that in with some apps and devices on the phone and send Bitcoin in that fashion. You can also uh, copy and paste or type in this string of characters beneath. Likewise, on the right hand side, we've got the private key, and this is access to the actual wallet in order to send and to spend from the wallet. So, again, you can use this image to access it. 
Likewise, you can use this string of characters to access it, and that is the private key. You cannot spend any coins in a wallet without using the private key. Now, this is all well and good, but you know, sometimes you want something that's a bit more visual. So what you've got access to here is you can click on here, the paper wallet, and we're onto the paper wallet page. Now we've got a few options here of what we can do. We can, we can hide the art if we don't want the art. We want the art, that's the whole point of it, okay? The address is to generate, we just want one address to be generated. Now we've got the BIP38 encrypt. And what this does is it gives us uh, another layer of uh, security. So even if someone gets hold of our Bitcoin uh, paper wallet and they scan this in, it will come up and say, what's the password? So there's an additional layer of um, security which lays it even further, which is really good. So even if you lose it, the person that steals it or whatever will need to put in that passcode, okay? So that's really, really cool, okay? So you can put in a password, and you can put in the only want one, then click generate, and then you can then print it out. So let's just um, let's just put in a password and put just for 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 this for this. I'm going to click generate. Then that's going to go through, and it's then going to generate uh, me a a new paper wallet. Okay. So let's just wait for that to occur. There it is. Great, okay. So as you can see, this is the um, what we're gonna use to send money to, using this code across here. This is what we're gonna use to send. And on the right hand side, this is how we're gonna uh, be able to spend. And the private key is here. We can see the private key there. And we can, once it's printed out, we can type here how much Bitcoin we've got. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna, you're gonna wanna, uh, you're gonna wanna print this out. Okay, so before you send any any money to it, do not do not now try and send anything to it because you want to make sure that you're able to print it out and save it. Okay, and you'll you'll be able to just click print and print it out. Obviously, the best case scenario here is again not to connect to the internet, not to print via a Wi-Fi printer. If you can connect to a printer with a with a wire that's now been on the internet, that's the best case scenario okay but if you can't so be it okay you've still got the layer of the passphrase which has prevented it now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh, create another wallet behind the scenes and then i'm going to go to my printer which is in another room i'm going to connect my uh, laptop to it i'm going to print it out and i'm going to be back in a few minutes okay Right, so I'm actually back, and it hasn't been a few minutes. It's actually been about a week since I recorded that first part of the, of the video. I got really sidetracked with one of our major projects that we've got on the go, and I forgot to record the ending of this video. Video, But we're here, okay? Um, you might better tell a sharp barnet now. But I have got the same t-shirt on, I believe. There you go. Anyway, so I've got my um, paper wallet, okay? So I printed it out for the test, and this is the one that I uh, printed out um, last week. Now, the funds that I transferred, the, the Bitcoin that I transferred from Coinbase to the paper wallet that I created, it's now on there, it's now safe, okay? And the only way that the funds on that paper wallet uh, can be realized is by having the key or scanning um, the image, okay? To gain access to, uh, to the paper wallet, okay? But even if that is the case, they're still gonna need to know what my password is, right? And obviously, I'm the only person that knows that password. Hopefully, hopefully there wasn't anyone like peering over the uh, back of my chair when I did it. Um, but if I want to realize those funds, I'm going to need to transfer them from the paper wallet, okay, to another wallet, um, which is actually online. Obviously, there's uh, a number of different wallets out there. There is, there is loads, 
there is actually loads, okay? In order to sell the, them, I'm gonna need to get them to an exchange, but I'm gonna need to get them to um, an online wallet, okay? And the online wallet that I prefer, that I've um, found the easiest, is called Copay. And we can get use this to see what's on the wallet, and we can swipe the wallet, and then have the funds in the Copay wallet to transfer her to an exchange or or to somebody else. Okay. Alternatively, we could just give uh, the paper wallet uh, to somebody else and say, "Yeah, you can have everything that's on there." Um, but with the Copay wallet. It's um, a phone app, so you can get it on Android and you can get it on the iPhone. You're gonna install it. There's not really gonna be a sign up process because it's gonna be connected specifically to that phone. And that wallet can only be accessed on that phone. So if you have Bitcoin on the wallet and the phone goes walkies, you no longer have those funds, okay? So for, for what I would recommend, I would use it just for transferring uh, directly, okay, uh, to somebody or to an exchange, uh, just as an easy way to move things about, okay? So you download the app, Copay, so go onto the App Store, search for it, C-O-P-A-Y, I've got it on the screen, the actual website if you want to check it out, so the website is copay.io. When it's on your phone, you're going to need to um, go through the initialize, initializing process of setting up the wallet. Now, the main thing that's going to happen is that you're going to have to uh, create um, your own key for the uh, for the wallet, and that's going to involve twelve different words. So you're going to have to write down all of these words and safely store them somewhere so that if you want to, if you need to access it, if you if you need to access the Copay wallet, you've got those 12, 12 words, okay? If it's just on your phone using it, you don't need it. It's only if you lose it and you need to try it and retrieve it, okay? So once it's on your phone, let me just open it up. You're gonna have an app like that, okay? I'll put an image on the screen as well just to show you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on scan. There's a button there, it's gonna open up the camera. And then what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to scan the image on the paper wallet and it's gonna tell me what's in it, okay? So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm just gonna get my paper wallet. And I'm going to click the scan button and I'm just going to put it, hover it over and it's given me uh, some options to uh, sweep the paper wallet. So I'm just going to click sweep the paper wallet. And now what's happened is it's asked for the password. Okay, you can see that it's asked for the password. So obviously when I create the paper wallet, I put a password. So I'm just going to type in password and then I'm going to click OK it's now scanning the wallet and what it is you can see that it's found that there is 0.01 uh, BTC on it which is what I transferred into this test paper wallet so there you go that's what happens when you can try it. Now you can click on the button sweep and it will transfer everything that was in the paper wallet now onto your phone and then from your phone, you can then transfer it elsewhere if you would like to. So I hope that in these two sections of this video, I've shown you how easily it is to store your Bitcoin safely away from the internet, how you can create that paper wallet and how you can see what's on the paper wallet transfer it off okay so if you do want to sign up for coinbase and get a ten dollar bonus go to moneyisinthelist.com forward slash crypto bonus and when you uh, buy one hundred dollars worth of bitcoin you're going to get that ten dollar bonus 
I've been Lee, and there will be a second, a third video in this series where we talk to you about how to track um, your Bitcoin offline safely. Okay, I've been Lee. I'll see you later.